Hey guys, okay, we're back to doing two lessons. I explain lesson 67, explain lesson 68, you do lesson 68, okay? No odds, all of it, okay, except on Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday of this week. Anyway, it says on your homework sheet what day you do just odds, okay? So here we go, let's do this thing. I honestly feel like these two lessons you guys have done before, but I guess not, I don't know. Um, honestly, in lesson 68, I don't have my calculator here, so I'm gonna, gonna have to just show you one thing in the book so that you can do it, but that's only on the third and fourth, well, the fourth one's piece of cake. Only on the third example, I think. Well, no, actually, I can show you like a super easy way. I can show you a super easy way. But I just can't do it on my calculator for you. Okay, here we go. Let's do lesson 67. So all it's doing here is, is things that we've done before. So I don't really understand the new stuff. But here we go. We, ha we have to simplify this. That's what it says. Okay. Well, we know that we cannot have a radical sign on the bottom. This square root thing on the bottom of a fraction in the denominator. So in order to get rid of it, all you have to do is multiply by negative 4 minus square root 3 instead of negative 4 plus square root 3. You just change the sign. Okay, so we do 1 times this is going to be negative 4 minus square root 3, obviously. And then here we go, let's do this one. Negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. Negative 4 times this is going to be plus 4 square root 3. Um, this times this is going to be negative 4 square root 3. And then this times this is going to be negative um, square root 3 times square root 3, which means that your answer is going to be negative 3. Okay? Then we are done with those two things, which that means that it worked what we did and we didn't forget a step. And we go negative 4 minus the square root 3 over 16. And that is your answer. No, 16 minus 3, fair dog. I forgot the minus 3. So 13 is your answer. Okay, then over here is the same thing. We just do 2 square root 3 minus 2 over 2 square root 3 minus 2. This times this is going to be 6 square root 3 minus 6. Because make sure you distribute both times. 2 square root 3 times 2 square root 3 is 4 times, oh, pardon, 4 times square, 4 times square root 3 times square root 3, so it's going to be 4 times 3 is 12. 2 times this is going to be negative 4 square root 3. This times this is 4 square root 3. And then this times this is negative 4. Okay, so we have 6 square root 3 minus 6 over 12 minus 4 is 8. Then we can actually, man, why do I keep doing that? They said I got one thing wrong. It should be two. Why? Oh my, because it was square root two. Hey, Felicia, I love you. See, in class, you guys could have just stopped me like a long time ago while I was making that mistake. So here we go. 6 square root 3 minus 3 square root 2. I got that part right, right? Yeah. This times this is going to be, again, 12. This times this is going to be minus 2 square root 6. This times this is going to be plus 2 square root 6. This times this is going to be minus 2. Okay, now we're, it's easy. This and this is canceled. And we get 6 square root 3 minus 3 square root 2 over 10. Bada bing, bada boom. And finally, it's the right answer. Okay, then that's it for this one. I feel like maybe you guys aren't doing the practices. Even when I do do them on the thing. So, I'm going to say if you need help with this concept, ask me but I'm not going to keep doing the practices because I'm not really sure that you guys do the practices so if you text me and you're like yo Miss Jessica why did you cancel practices those help me a lot if you can text me and say Miss Jessica why did you cancel practices because those help me a lot I will go back to doing them but if not I'm going to keep going through it because we all need to save time if you're not doing it 
Okay, love you. But make sure you're watching the video at least because sometimes you guys think you know the concept and sometimes you guys don't, okay? So don't be faking it. Okay, let's go into lesson 68.